good morning everyone how are you guys all yeah. see in the, in the last three lectures i already discussed about this basic engineering and science related to this rrb lp or j students which is helpful all the topics i have discussed and the response what i got from the last uh, the three classes is very nice so in continuation with that i am also happy with that okay so even though those yes the views are getting also raised also the subscribe i am getting very nice okay see the response from your side is also important right so that uh, i will also get motivated if you are supporting me the way like so it's it's uh, helpful for me also it supports me okay also it's uh, helpful for you guys also and the classes which i i am putting a lot much efforts i am putting many times on this to prepare all these classes right so it's your responsibility to subscribe hit and share with your friends and that same thing you are doing and i am happy on that you students okay okay now we will start the with this we will start the today's lecture right so today's is not i let me change this this is a heat and temperature lecture right today is in the last class we have discussed this right so let me correct this yes this is a heat and temperature today's class is let me correct my slide heat and temperature okay i will put it here only heat and see the heat and temperature is a very 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 interesting okay and see uh, there is a very uh, for this subject the weightage is also very nice right and this is a very for engineering students those who are pursuing diploma or degree uh, this is a base for thermodynamics subjects right so actually see everybody in in our life we 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 sense this heat as well as temperature we are not sensing the temperature we are sense the heat somebody is telling that yes today is very hot right heat right and so so it is a very interesting what exactly the heat is right nobody will understand yes this is a energy in the last class we have discussed heat is a one type of energy right it's a thermal energy so we'll see one by one okay see here uh, i have color, I, I have done i have taken this very from in order to you guys very simply by you understand right and the way i created the notes see our today's topic is heat and temperature we will start now first with heat hot heat is anybody have answer question answer to this questions what is the heat now it's in front of you okay i written here but what in your mind what about what do you feel about heat right somebody says yes uh, his hands are so much hot like this right so so heat means is related to hot or cold right it's related to hot or cold but what is this exactly how we will understand hot or cold right so the heat is with increase in temp in in body's temperature whenever body's temperature increases molecules or atoms vibrates vibration increases right so body means body is made up of atoms and molecules right see if you consider the, for the water it is a molecule right for atoms means it's if, if it is a solid then it will comes under atoms right whenever suppose i put one steel bar uh, 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 exposure to the atmosphere that that time what happen uh, on that bars right the atom starts vibrating okay the there are millions of atoms in a single solid right that thing we already known in our material science right how the solid is made up how the matter is made form right so the vibration increases and this vibrations are then transferred from one body to another body right so whenever i touch that solid rod which exposed to the atmosphere or sunlight okay when i touch the it will be hot definitely right so there is a hot means there it has a heat right 
and it will be transfer see the heat is only a transfer phenomena like uh, the heat is only in transient condition it's not nothing is stored inside that body right it will be transferred right so i think you got this point what i'm very very important point i'm trying to tell you how much you guys understood i don't know but it is a transfer phenomena even though you see yes body is hot that thing tell you temperature degree of hotness or coldness but whenever I, these vibrations are transferred then transferred from one part to the another right the measure of the energy which is molecules vibrate in a system is termed as a heat stored in that object right the measure of the energy which molecules vibrate in a system that is what the heat right you understood means the atoms are vibrating right why it is vibrating it gets it is nothing but it uh, looks like a kinetic energy right whenever there is a raise in kinetic energy for the atoms right so uh, that time we we feel the heat okay so heat is a one transient phenomena from one body it will transfer to the another body transient means it is in transit it's not stored i can't tell yes the body has um, this much amount of heat is stored like this i never talk right but whenever there is a transfer right that is a vibration or atoms vibration increases and whenever i touch to that atom which is in increased state i will get a i will get a heat from that body right i mean getting the heat means my body will also start to vibrate right that is what the heat heat means it's the kinetic energy of the atoms right which is vibrating vibrational energy or kinetic energy you can say okay i think i hope you understood the meaning of we will see we will coming back to this again okay it's not so 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 need not worry even though you not understood no don't worry okay in the next slide i whenever i compare between heat and temperature and that time you will definitely understood the difference in heat and temperature right whenever i take that slides okay <clears throat> now coming to the assignment of the heat is in joules right so joule is a scientist in honor to that scientist uh, the heat is uh, unit of the heat is joule right so the cgs that is a, a cgs means a centimeter gram seconds unit for the heat is calories right and the one calorie is equivalent to 4.18 joule right this thing you should keep in mind okay don't forget this sometimes you in the exam the given is in calories and you have to take it in joules that kind that time it will help you okay see this is uh, one calorie is 4.18 joule which is approximately we are rounding it up as 4.2 joule okay okay next now looking to the coming to the next slide here i try to differentiate between heat and temperature so the first difference what heat is heat is a total energy right in motion of the molecules of a substance it's a it talks about total energy of motion whereas the temperature refers to the measure of the average energy of the motion of the molecules in a substance right so it talks about the average right measure see both is a, this is also this is a total energy what is talking and this is the temperature measure of average energy of the motion of the molecules right so it is talking about the average right and an average but it is a total energy right so this is what the heat the second difference between heat and temperature is heat is one form of energy right it is a thermal energy while temperature is not energy right it is just a measurement of physical state of the body heat transfers the third point he transfers in a region region behind temperature change right so if there is a temperature change difference then 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 and then only heat transfers right otherwise there is no meaning of talking about heat okay only if there is a temperature difference then and then only the <coughs> heat will get transferred right this is what the main thing i would like to share you with you guys and i hope you understood here when temperature different means suppose i have i have taken two bodies right so see here uh, this is one body and this is another body okay whenever i uh, take this body closer and closer to each other then 
what happen suppose this is my hot body and this is a cold body then what happen if there is a temperature difference then and then only the way like a potential difference in the voltage right how the voltage is transferred if there is a difference then and then only it will transfer right similarly here if it is a hot body and it is a cold body from the hot body to cold body the heat will get transferred right just a minute i will erase this okay uh, now uh, now uh, now the other about temperature temperature variation can be result of gain or loss of heat right if there is a temperature variation then there will be gain or loss of heat right so the heat the coming to the fourth point between difference in the heat and temperature heat is a exchangeable right so i can exchange heat from one body to another body okay it can flow from one there is, it's not like a fluid but it can flow from one body to another body like like vibrations you know the conduction uh, conduction or convection mode of heat transfer there is a vibration and uh, one body transfers heat to the others right like this suppose i am vibrating like this and I, what i will do somebody sitting beside me then I, what i will do i will push him like while vibration i will get push him like this right so this is what the uh, the, the the transfer of the heat is taking place now right now the similar point with this the temperature is not exchangeable only heat can exchangeable right temperature can, nothing about temperature is just measurement of degree of hotness or coldness how the body is hot how much body is hot right it it talks about average energy of the motion of molecules inside the substance right see uh, average motion of the molecule substance meaning let me elaborate this little bit so that you will get you, you guys will get understand regarding this um, see whenever i start heating the water okay i put a pot on fire on on gas and start heating the time what happens the temperature getting increases increase that right? the average activities or average motion or average energy of the energy right of the motion of the molecule of the substance that talks about the temperature but here the total energy this temperature doesn't talks about total energy right at any point right it is a point function temperature is a point function. at any point you measure the temperature that point it will gives you that but while the heat is not like that heat is a total energy of the molecules of the substance that is it is talking right so it, it is a path function whereas temperature is a point function i think i hope you understood this guys see this is a very helpful if even though what i am telling if you are not understanding you, you search google search and try to understand uh, more better clarity than this okay no problem heat is a okay now the next point <clears throat> so here heat is the total total amount of heat present in the particular body cannot be measured right so here the total amount of heat present in the particular body cannot be measured it can be measured only during flow or exchange right so that thing i already told you whenever the flow if flow occurs then and then only you can measure the heat you, you can't measure the total amount of heat present in particular body right so the temperature of a particular body can be easily measured okay so more or temperature does not flow temperature there is no flow of the temperature right so so the next point is coming to the next point heat flow between two two bodies do not rely on the amount of heat present in the bodies right so it is a temperature that decides whether or not heat occurs between the two bodies heat is not a fundamental property of matter right how heat is not a fundamental property because it is in flow right so see the there is a transfer of the heat so it is it's not a fundamental property whereas temperature is but yes temperature is a property it's a fundamental property of the matter because we are measuring at point right whereas heat is a path function so heat whenever there is a flow then then only we can talk about the heat so heat is path function whereas temperature is point function right this thing you should keep in mind now coming to the last point of difference between heat and temperature see the total just now i talked about the total kinetic energy of the atom and molecules that is hot the heat right so the, this is what the see the kinetic energy means the body is in motion right so uh, you can say i think 
uh, there is a statics and dynamics right so heat is more talks about dynamics part not statics right whereas temperature it is a degree of hotness and coldness see now the rest thing i think hope i what i tried to you guys you understood everything very clearly because this is a very important that's why i have taken uh, the difference from many books i searched right and i tries to explain you this sheet because in any way it is not mentioned in the anywhere okay so these difference are very important now rest of the things you will get this see this is how you can convert that is a centigrade by for you okay this is a c for where where c is centigrade right c is centigrade this is the units of heat units of sorry units of temperature right k is the kelvin right kelvin f is fahrenheit right r is i don't know exactly the meaning r but yes r is there is one one more unit of the heat right so see what this c degree centigrade means suppose 10 degree centigrade your body temperature is 10 degree centigrade right like this right so if this 10 degree centigrade you have to convert see the normal temperature of the body is th around um, 35 degree centigrade right so if you have to convert this centigrade to kelvin or kelvin to fahrenheit that time see while doctor measuring our temperature of the our right he is he's saying around 102 104 which is a very high uh, fever like this he is telling but he is measuring that it in fahrenheit okay it's not in centigrade centigrade right with the thermometer we can measure this celsius in celsius also right so you see here you have to convert from celsius to kelvin, kelvin right so just you have to add up with 273 right so that you will get or subtract from the kelvin then you will get in centigrade right so the 5 5 will get cancelled here here if you have to convert into fahrenheit then you have to use a proper this formula and you have to convert according to that scale right now the unit of the heat is in first is the scientist right that is a calorie who generally the heat unit is measured in the calorie then centigrade heat units comes then british thermal unit is there and the, the here is a conversion right 1 bhu is equal to 252 calorie okay now uh, there are two types of heats one is a sensible heat and other is latent heat okay sensible means we can sense this after sensing this you can increase see that if whenever, wherever there is a rise in temperature or fall in the temperature that heat we count it as a of that matter is as sensible heat whereas latent heat whenever there is a phase change from suppose from uh, from solid to liquid or liquid to gas like this but there is a no temperature change right so the delta t in this case is equal to zero right so this is what the latent heat whereas uh, delta t is not equal to zero right this is a sensible heat right so the formula for sensible heat is q is equal to m m is the mass means uh, suppose i have taken one kg of water right so the mass of that water the specific heat of that water into the change in the temperature this is how i can calculate the amount of q in that okay so see here now i have to convert from 10 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade okay see here that there is a change in the temperature right so minus 10 degree centigrade bulb i am converting it into 0 degree centigrade so it is a sensible heat from 0 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade this is see here there is a phase change right so uh, this is in solid phase and this is a liquid phase right so here there is a phase change phase change so the amount of the here i am supplying that heat is called latent heat during phase change here there is no phase change here is also solid okay ice is also solid and this is a both are at different temperature but uh, the, there is no phase change right both are in solid so it is a sensible heat i hope you understood this what the sensible now coming see in this uh, sensible heat q is equal to mass specific heat and 
delta t right that is a change in temperature now what this specific heat c or s right we will see that so s that is a specific heat is equal to q by m delta t means for 1 kg 1 kg mass i have to raise temperature of 1 degree how much amount of heat supplied that is what it's a specific heat okay and the specific heat is a material property it is different for a different material suppose if i take uh, uh, milk or water right the specific heat for water is different and specific heat for milk is also different so if i have to raise 1 kg uh, 1 degree centigrade of 1 kg mass of the milk right the amount of heat supplied is different right that is what it's specific heat that is a different right for the milk so it is a material dependent property okay now the temperature range right so see there are uh, temperature range we are seeing there are many temperature ranges right so the below zero degree centigrade you can use gas thermometer so that there are h2 gas thermometer is there right n2 gas it has a range temperature right so for below zero degree we can use gas thermometers in this range that is minus 114 degree centigrade to 75 degree we can use alcohol thermometer right the next is that is 37 minus 37 to 353 mercury thermometer see the pyrometer is also 300 to 3000 degree centigrade see in the furnace area right so the temperature at furnace area right furnace temperature is high so here we use pyrometer right so in the furnace temperature is high so we use pyrometer here now uh, see uh, the mercury okay the mercury which we are using right we will see that what that mercury is so the mercury in our thermometer we are using right yeah most of the students have seen this mercury our doctors right whenever we checking our temperature there is a inside the glass tube there is a mercury right so mercury will expand right it has a various properties or characteristics which is helpful to measure the temperature so mercury is so few of them i have uh, trying to list out here so the first is that is it does not stick to the glass right see if it stick to the glass it will not raise correctly right so it should not stick the glass it can easily visible inside the glass so if it is visible then we can measure the reading of the temperature how much temperature of the body right so and the range of that mercury is that is it will minus 30 degree centigrade to 353 degree centigrade range temperature can measure with the help of the mercury okay now coming to the mode of the heat transfer right we are up till now we have seen what the heat what is the temperature right so there are many modes of the heat transfer there, there are main three modes of heat transfer first one is conduction okay conduction convection and radiation so in conduction there is a direct contact right so see here uh, whenever there is a contact suppose in case of conduction mode heat transfer uh, i will put this hand right I will touch directly this to this mobile and whatever the heat from my hand will get transferred to this mobile if there is a temperature difference else not right so there is a here there is a direct contact right so conduction is a like mode of heat transfer convection is due to motion of the matter right see here the convection uh, whenever I start the boiling water on the gas when I in which I kept it right so there is a motion of the molecules right so suppose this is a hot pan here like so uh, uh, if this is a, this is what the burner right so so this, this is a fire right like this so it gets hot whatever the water inside is what happen in case of see here in this alone i can explain all these modes of heat transfer suppose somebody is standing here right suppose 
a person okay is standing here and he start he see he is shaking here right like this hands are like this so he will feel right so this is what the mode of okay he will feel hotness right so this is what the radiation this mode of heat transfer is called radiation see the radiation is due to electromagnetic waves right this is the third type of heat transfer and the heat transfer from this through this metal right so here there is a diode contact so whatever the heat coming from this fire okay or diode can transfer to this so this mode of heat transfer is called convection conduct sorry conduction right here it is a direct heat transfer so this is a conduction heat transfer after getting this heat once it is heated what happened see here the water okay what inside in this pan this is a water so the water water gets heated how is this water gets heated due to because of the convection right due to motion of the metal see what happen the density suppose this is one molecule of the water okay its density gets reduced and it if see if density get reduced then it will go up right and the higher densities which are on that top they come and settle down in here so again they take up heat and again they go back like this there is a convection current is flowing right so this convection current is created and this mode of heat transfer with the help of the matter is called convection right it is a convection mode of heat transfer okay so this is a just now i uh, took the example right so see the same here there is uh, so here there is a partition right so if we remove partition then what will be the temperature final temperature you can easily find out with the help of this temperature right so the mass of this is one right so the table temperature final temperature will be same at it will attain the same temperature right with the help of using this form after remission after removal of this partition you can calculate easily this tf okay so these are the questions so i uh, <coughs> I hope you can easily solve this now okay after listening this lecture no need to explain if even though if you are not understanding please put in the comments I will try to explain you okay very in a very precise manner more than this so see here the, in the question number one what it tells at 30 degree centigrade 2 kg of water right the mass of the water is given is mixed to in 50 gram of means around half kg of 80 degree centigrade so what will be the temperature just now you have to put that formula right and you have to find out the final temperature this will be the answer now coming to the latent heat right the, i i hope you understood what the sensible is so here let the latent heat is um in uh, what we have discussed uh, first you understood latent heat is whenever there is phase change right the amount of heat absorbed latent heat please write down this definition latent latent heat amount of amount of heat absorbed amount of heat absorbed during during phase change phase change is called latent heat latent means uh, in other words it's a, it's a latent means it's a hidden hidden kind of thing right you can't see that right so the so the amount of heat absorbed during the phase change of matter is called latent heat and in this there is there is no temperature rise or fall of matter
right this is what the latent heat right so here just now in this figure i try to illustrate you about uh, how the ice getting converted into vapor right so here see here uh, minus 10 degree centigrade to 0 degree means here is a ch temperature change means it is a sensible heat if from 0 degree see here uh, here ice is getting converted into liquid right so so there is a phase change right so from ice to liquid means phase change so it is a latent heat similarly here zero here also again the latent heat it is a sensible heat from 100 degree centigrade of water to 100 degree centigrade of vapor or steam okay now coming to the question there are no units of temperature in the following so the degree centigrade is also unit right kelvin is also a degree fahrenheit and calorimeter is not unit right so this is answer for that now <coughs> Now see here, this thing we already discussed, one calorie equivalent to, right, this is what the answer, the exact answer is 1.48, but on a round figure we are taking it 1.4.2 joules, okay, this is very important, you should keep it in mind. So the next question is, which of the following are not mercury properties, okay, so, so see, the mercury does not attach to the glass, right, this is not, this is, yes, mercury will attach the glass, it is a proportional coefficient is same, right. So it is extremely rigid. So it is not rigid, right? So yes, this is it does not uh, attach glass, right? Proportional coefficient is same, but it is extremely rigid. Uh, so it is this is a not property, okay? So the answer is for this question is this answer, right? So this is the answer because this is a not property. They are asking which is the not mercury's properties, okay? So this is third C is the answer for this. Now uh, the latent heat of the fusion of the ice is it's around 333 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Okay, if I divide it by 4.2, then it will I will get it in calorie gram degree centigrade. Now the latent heat of vaporization, which is higher than this, right? Because see, it is a fusion and it is a vaporization. At vaporization, right, there is a heat or the kinetic energy or the moment of the molecules are very high. So there is a it is around 2260 right so the specific heat of water this thing you should keep it in mind okay even though the, in the exam this is this will given but you should know uh, you, you will get a practical idea about this what the specific heat of water right once you get the idea then you will yes yes i will get feel like that right so i know the specific it means this is how you feel the energy right so around yes around 4200 kilojoule per kg kelvin right this is what the specific it so how much for one kg of water to raise one degree kelvin how much amount of heat is required okay and this energy is coming from electric energy i have to increase right like this you thought right so so coming that is specific heat of ice right so it is almost half specific heat of water and specific heat of ice is almost right see here one calorie and half calorie so the mass okay i think this is a very simple see, see uh, here is one question for you guys very nice question so uh, how much amount of i heat is required from i have to convert from minus 20 degree centigrade of ice to 100 degree centigrade of copper how much amount of heat is required okay so so just first you have to from see you cannot directly convert 20 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade of copper right the, the first step will be from minus to zero degree centigrade of right this is what the sensibility i am giving right though so it is q 50 calorie then the second step is from zero to zero degree centigrade means it's a latent heat right so here it is a latent heat and the formula for the latent heat is that is mass into latent heat what just now we have seen the, the 80 right here where is that yes 80 calorie calorie per gram degree centigrade is the latent heat of fusion of for the ice so the same thing I would keep here M into L. Similarly here, okay, M yes, delta T. So the total amount of heat required, it's around this much calorie will be required, right? So the heat that is sensibility and latent heat. The formula for the sensibility is M S delta T. I have I have already explained it in detail, okay? So the Q is equal to M L. The other is which is a latent heat here the m is the mass right and l is the latent heat 
per kg they have given so the kg kg mass will get cancelled so we may not worry about that so the ice of the water at the end of the mixture will be here if, if I uh, <coughs> this is ice right so the mass of the ice everything is given here right so uh, we need to find out the final temperature of this mixture once this ice melt and both uh, attain the same uh, same temperatures that time you have to find out the amount of heat transfer that thing you have to find out now coming to the expansion of the now up till now we have seen about soil liquids right liquid or gas so the expansion of the solid is also there so this is a very interesting and these are the related to thermal strength or strength of material whenever you come to the engineering part that time you have one good topic that is the strength of material that time you have to discuss this right even though i have explained here you just keep here in the solid so this is a delta L which is equal to Li alpha delta T right where delta L is a change in this length see I have what I have in this expansion what I have in this rod suppose this is the rod right so it has the initial temperature and it is the final temperature so changing the temperature it will expand and how much um, how much amount of it will expand that is the delta L which is given as the Li that is the initial length alpha delta T where the alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion which is a degrees per unit degree centigrade so the delta L is final length minus initial length right so initial length so you can calculate the final length also how much the length is will be now see this is just the entrance to the thermodynamics topic right so see how this topic is entered to the thermodynamics now zero to log thermodynamics what it tells suppose these two bodies are in thermal equilibrium right and this body is thermal equilibrium with this then it means this B is also in thermal equilibrium with this C Right. This is what this zero law of thermodynamics will tell. I think you will not have more question on this, so you need not worry about that. You just you should know, right? Because you have to study in detail in your thermodynamics chapter. Okay, whenever you take admission to the engineering classes, that time you have to take this. Yes, after once you understood the first, uh, the zero law, then it is a first law of thermodynamics, okay? It is nothing but law of conservation of energy, okay? Energy neither created nor destroyed, it can be converted. See here, the heat is converting from the, uh, raising the internal energy or changing the internal energy of the body plus doing some work, right? This is what this first law of thermodynamics is telling, right? And everything is based on this amount of heat whatever the transfer it, it utilizes to raise the internal energy of the body plus doing some external work right so if i am too much speed i am tail taking then i request you guys please watch the video once more if you are not understand because whatever i am telling is very interesting and it will be very helpful for an engineering course now the second of the so see the second hot the second of thermodynamics is telling uh, if I take a reservoir of this temperature T1 and T2 temperature this I will call it as a source and this is a sink right so the source source is source reservoir is at high temperature and this is sink right so what it's telling so the whatever the, uh, the, the amount of heat extracted from this you so the, this Q1 you die all the Q1 you can't convert into work this is what this is telling okay you just you have to extract some Q2 amount so that it will be equal so this is what the second law of thermal is telling and the efficiency it is related to reversible engine or heat engine okay so the efficiency is equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1 and suppose if the engine is reversible then it, you can directly write in place of heat you can directly write temperature that is 1 minus efficiency is equal to 1 minus t2 minus t1 right so i think hope you guys understood all the things what we have discussed in the today's class uh, hopefully what we will do in the next class and see this topic is very important right so the next class what we will do we will see about uh, what the mass weight and density and what is the difference between that that thing we will see in the next class and what those students who are not understanding properly in the today's class right so if you have any doubts or um too much fast or too much slow okay if you put in a comment okay so with this will stop and then the next session will be on this mass weight and density uh thanks for watching Please share, like, 
and don't forget to subscribe the channel my dears thanks thank you thank you lots bye take care